it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to download a file, upload it into Design Space, and then if you have to make any tweaks to it, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So for instance, this file. This is from Creative Fabrica. I do have a membership with them. And if you want one too, don't forget to use my code. It's the Useless Crafter 30, and that gives you 30% off your membership every month. Um, I really like it because it gives me lots of options for fonts, way more than design space. Uh, and the other thing that I really, really like are the images because you can then download and then upload into Inkscape to give you that offset that really completes a project. But anyway, what you do is you're going to download. So after you purchase, um, whether you're on Etsy or here or font bundles, whatever it is. After you purchase, you have the option to download. So you're gonna to need to download it. And for mine, when I go to download, it automatically pops up over here and you're it's almost always in a zip file. So I always go to look at it. So go into show in folder. And so when I'm in the folder, I'm gonna double click on it to get into it. And here, I don't know <laughs> why there's a number three, but anyway, um, just double click on that. You want to get to the point where you're actually in the file. So here's the file that I need right here. This is the file type that's going to allow me to um, update it in Design Space. So I'm going to actually take this and I'm going to drop it into my desktop. And you just have to remember where you put it because I'm taking it out of the zip file. Um, so shoot, I'm going to have to replace this file. So give me a second. All right, here we go. Then I'm going to go into Design Space and upload it. So I'm going to go to upload image, browse, and it was the number three. And I hate how they don't name their files because look at all these numbers. These are all the ones that I've bought in the past. All right, so I'm going to double click on this three and you're going to get a preview of the file. Yes, that's the one. And I'm going to change it here. So and you want to change it because if you ever want to use this file again, it's going to be included in your images over here. So it's going to be really hard to remember to type in three. Right? So type in home sweet home. You can add tags here to help you find it more. Um, I'm good with just the, the image name. So let's save it. And then here it is. You're going to click on it and then insert your image. So like I said, this one, I'm gonna make it really big so we could see it. And darn, it's connected to the O. So see how this H, it's connected to the O. So in order for me to get rid of the H, I'm gonna to have to get rid of the O as well. And that's okay, because it's just a simple O. I'm not, I'm not too torn about that. And if it doesn't work out, we'll just put in a new font with the word home. So, all right, let's do this. Um, don't worry about size yet, because right now we just wanna look at what we have um, we will resize it once we make the updates to it. So here's this. Let me move my face over. All right, and then that way I can move this over here a little bit and you can see it better. First thing that you notice is this came in as one image. So you can tell on your right hand side panel because it's a one line item. So everything's connected. If we do anything, you're either going to have to slice it out or you can contour. So in this case, let's contour out the H and the O. So we're gonna click on contour. So contouring lets you select certain things to be removed from the image. So it's really, really nice. Um, so I wanna get rid of, so you can either click on the actual image. Let's see, I'm not sure. It's Sometimes it's hard to see on the image. So there, that you can see that it's it's gotten rid of everything except for this little hole in the O. And then on this one, I'm gonna to need to do the same. I'm guessing I didn't do it correctly it looks like it's still there. All right, let's see what we have. So on this one, I did it correctly on this one, Got completely got rid of the H and O. This one, not so good. So let's go back to contour. I was having a hard time clicking on it. Okay, let's see. You could bring it back? I can't tell. Oh no, there. Okay, so now I gotta get rid of the insides. I think I got it this time. Okay, so the H and the O are gone. Let's go to text. I have a text, uh, a font that I like. So let's see over here. I'm gonna type in city street and see if it comes up. No, maybe city. Oh, there it is. 
city streetwear. It's kind of like that. Um, you'll see in a second. I'm going to type in the H and then the O and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it's not quite what I was looking for. First of all, size wise, it's not going to work, right? I'm going to need it to be like maybe a little bit smaller on the O. Okay, so I like that. Let me ungroup this because we need to move the H over a little bit, right? And we need to make it smaller for it to fit. It. So I kind of like that. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to also get um, a duplicate, right? Because we need to make it go on the bottom. So I'm going to grab those two items, duplicate it, and then put it down here. Now I'm looking at my O. Does it look a little, it looks a little bit thicker, right? So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and let's see if that works better. Okay. So I'm just gonna delete that one, grab this one and duplicate it so that I know it's the exact same size. And then I kind of wanted it down here a little bit. Okay, so to me that looks good. I'm going to grab all of this and I'm going to weld it. The H doesn't really matter because, oh wait, this H does. Give me a second. This H is touching this, which I do not want that to do. Okay. So the H isn't touching anything, but the O is. So it's really important for the O to be welded to the M. Otherwise, you're going to have the O cut out completely. It's going to cut around here and then the M is going to cut. So you're going to see those cut lines and you don't want that. You want it to be fluid, just like here with sweet. See how the S goes right into the W? If you don't weld it, that S would have been cut off and then the W would have been cut off. <clears throat> it would have butted up right next to each other, but you would have seen those lines and you don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two ways. I'm going to grab this top part first and I'm going to weld it. And then, so you see how the O now connects fluidly into the M, right? I'm going to show you how it isn't down here. So this O I'm going to arrange and send to the front and I'm going to change the color so that we could see it better. Okay, let's see if that makes it a little bit better to see. I know I'm zooming in a lot because this drives me crazy when I see this in other people's projects. Okay, um, this is not a good color to see the difference. So let me see if I can pick a better color there. Okay, so you see how the O goes into the M? That means that if I didn't weld it, this O is gonna cut out exactly around this line. And then the M is then gonna cut, so give me a second, I'm gonna move this to the front, arrange, send to the front. And then after it cuts the O, the M is gonna cut straight down past that line of that little loop of the O. So you're gonna have a lot of cut lines that you don't want. Okay, now that we've done this, this exercise, let's grab everything. You could either grab it from here, you can pick it up from here, or you could have even gone to here and click select all. So select all, weld it and it changed colors but it doesn't matter because it's going to be one piece and so I'm going to cut it and then put it on a trinket dish. So this is going to be in this cute little thing to hold our keys and whatever else when we come through the door. So this is the inside of that square is about four inches. So I want to make this a little bit under four inches so that it doesn't go up in the curved up area at all. So I'm thinking about 3.75 and this is still looking really big because I'm at 150% over here. Let me show you. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> all right, right here. So you see right here where my, um, I'm at 150%. 50 percent so it's looking like it's really big but normally when this canvas is at a hundred percent this is going to be so this is not um the same in width as it is in height so i typed a 3.75 i had assumed that everything was equal but i didn't realize this t went out so i actually want to make sure that my longer side which is my width right here it's actually four 
inches. So I'm going to need to get that down to, three, let's say, 3.85. And that's going to change this to 3.5. I could have gone to 3.75, but because I saw the difference, um, I didn't want to make it too short. So here it is, and then you just want to save it. Um, and then when you go to make it, it's all on one piece. So it should be simple. I'm going to actually cut it out on gold adhesive foil. So the trick to that is to make sure that you have a good blade in. So if you, I used to buy the blades from Cricut, but it was so expensive that I really tried to wear out my blade. I would cut it two times if I had to. I just absolutely refused to get rid of the blades. Now I buy them from Amazon. It's a pack of 30 for $10. As soon as it starts to cut, not the way I want to, where it gives me any kind of issue, I'm tossing it and replacing it. And so it you can get your foil vinyl to cut and weed like butter, I promise you. I have the videos to prove it. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think. If that was super easy, too easy, you want something more difficult, you want me to go slower, I don't know, give me the feedback. Let me know what else you wanna see. I'm totally here to do tutorials for you guys. All right, see you guys next time, bye.